Not Jonah. Hello, everyone. Today, my family and I, we are on the east side of Anchorage, Alaska, Mountain View, at the popular Red Apple Market. <coughs> One of my favorite market on the east Anchorage. And we're here to get some food, some groceries. For this weekend, we're doing Father's Day at our place right here. So we're gonna be hosting Father's Day and uh, we decided we're just gonna do food. So we're here to get some food ingredients <coughs> and get some other stuff for the house. Show you guys a little bit of our shopping trip today. We got two stops we need to do, uh, Red Apple here, and then we'll go ahead and stop at the uh, big box of Wally World and grab some other stuff. But this is Red Apple. Not gonna show you guys too much of it, but we'll show you guys what we get. Lincoln, what do you want? What? What, what do you see? Oh, you see the piñata. What do you see? Clock. Rock? Clock. Oh, that's not the clock, baby. That's the scale. No, the little loop pound. Loop pound. It's the pound. It's to weigh how much you weigh. Okay, we got green onion. You want to tell me your green onion? Yeah, it's your offer. Well, I got three. Green onion, yeah, and you can get two stack of cilantro. So we're doing green onion, cilantro, or oh, get some lettuce too. We gotta good we gotta make some good food this time. Lettuce, shrimp, seafood, beef, and all that good stuff. So we gotta make sure we get everything. We're not gonna get all the veggies right now because it's only Tuesday. Yeah. And so like the bean we sprout. Get, um, yeah, we're not gonna get the bean sprout. The bean sprout sometimes I don't know why the bean sprout don't, don't last it. really well yeah, in the fridge, but you have to get it fresh. Yeah. Oh, bean spray and lettuce. We'll come get it next time. Yeah. Don't worry about it right now. Okay. So some stuff we're not gonna get right now because you know we want them fresh. So we'll uh, come back Friday. Some we'll come back Friday and pick them up. Yeah. Do Wesley. Now <coughs> gentlemen, Wesley. Hello to Wesley. And these are the food noodle we're gonna get here. These are the one we want down here. These are the one we've been using this food noodle style. What's this? Oh, that's the clock. That's the scale, baby. They got 99 cents a pound. Uh, show you got some lemon here. Tomatoes, apples. A little bit of everything, man. This market, I grew up in this market because uh, when we moved to Alaska, we used to live about, we used to live down the road on uh, North, Kel North, North Kelvin Street. And literally, we would always walk to this red apple. It's so fun. It's like a quick five minute walk just right across the highway or across the road right there. Yeah, so I, I grew up. have a freezer. I still, it's still in the freezer. I think oh, it's just to be good. Get another one. Get another one? Yeah, get another one. So we're gonna go with these noodles. And then uh, the basil. Pretty good. <coughs> the basil. But it's nice because these are... Uh... So this is the noodle we want, guys. Uh oh, oh, this one has a <coughs> The basil, the mint leaf. We'll come back with that, babe. Yeah. Do we have any more uh, lemongrass at home? Oh, lemongrass we'll have to buy more. We still have some, but... Um... Ooh. Look at this, guys. This is $21. And for $21, you can feed 10 people and they can eat like three times. Whereas you go to the food store, you know, convenience, 21 bucks for a bowl. So the food business is really profitable, if you put it that way. Okay, baby, what do you want? I remember when I was young and I wasn't feeling good, my folks we came to Red Apple and as soon as I got to the front of the register, I literally puked. I just puked everywhere. And that, that's like when I was like, what, I don't know, 10, 12 year old. And I literally had to run. They had to show me where the bathroom is because the bathroom's in the back. They don't have public restroom. So they had to show me the bathroom, which is in the back of the employees only. But that's when I was young because I wasn't feeling good. And as soon as I walked into the store, the store was like really cold and chilly. And you guys know that feeling when you get that sudden coldness. It just makes your whole body tingle. And I just like puked at the front register. Good old memories. Yeah, but we love this place. We love Red, Red, Red Apple. Like I said, it has lots of stuff uh, asian produce and stuff like that it's a bit on the expensive side but you know what 
Um, that's just how things are, you know. Hi, Lizzie. Hi. That's lemon juice. Yeah, this is lemon juice. See? The lime. Okay, put away. We don't need that, okay? Okay, good job. Put away. Mm. Let's see what mommy getting. What's mommy getting? Can you go help mommy? mommy. Help mommy. See what mommy need help with. Lemon grass are three for one. No, ninety nine cents each. Oh, they got expensive. It used to be, it used to be three for one or something like that. But ninety nine cents for a piece. That's pretty expensive when you compare it to like Sacramento, California. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Daddy, push. Yeah, we need meat and stuff. We don't have any uh, beef or anything like that. I still have the wrap. Do whatever. I still have the wrap. We'll buy the shrimp. Um, where do I? No, get up, baby. Get up, get up. Don't touch the ground. So the meat's pretty, you know, on the higher end. I'll go buy shrimp at Costco, I guess. Ooh, ooh, I'm sorry. I'm buy cream cheese, shrimp at Costco. Yeah, it don't matter. Um, come here, come here, baby. Come on, come on here. Thank you, Anne. Come here, you have to see in the basket. Uh, help mommy, go push. You want open? You're trying, um, right there. You're the oxtail. Ooh, oxtail. You go to $20, guys. $20 for oxtail. No, get the big ones. Get the big oxtail. Get two box. All right, you're, this is for daddy. Father's Day. Yeah, we got oxtail. You're trying to By the way, it has like multiple pieces. Or just multiple pieces and stuff like that. So, you know. So this oxtail about twenty dollars, and then these are oh, 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 oh. these are uh, beef shanks bones, great for soup. Six dollar. Maybe we'll get some of this. <coughs> you want to buy beef here, or you want to buy Costco? Um, Costco. Okay. Oh, oh, for the steak. For the meat. Well, we don't have any. You gotta meat. buy the bones. Yeah, buy the bones. Nice, because the bones are like cheap for good for broth. Okay, then get the bone, but I guess, uh, just... I'll buy the meat at the uh, Costco since we gotta go there anyways. Yeah, I think two packs is good, because, you know, it's bones. So I'll show you guys the price of bone. Uh, $4.49 a pound. This is beef chunk. Yeah, I need to go, uh, I need to go butcher another cow this year because, man, this is expensive when you look at this, this price. and then, yeah, so steak, we can buy it. We'll have oh. to get the nice, thin, soft one. Get some pork belly. We'll cook some pork belly too. You want pork belly or chicken wings? Because remember okay, your sister chicken. and your mom and okay. your dad has gout. Okay, you can get chicken wings. So we'll I don't get, think they can eat pork We'll belly. get chicken wings at Walmart. Um, yeah. Do we have any more of the stomach? Yeah, fish and Walmart. Baby, get up, we'll baby. We'll just have to not boil it for so long. Mommy! Okay. All right, we're moving on with the rest of our shopping. Lincoln's back in the car because he's messing around too much. We got some beef, veggies. We're gonna move on to the condiment section. This is all the Asian drinks right here. Drinks. Wanna buy like a big one? Lychee. Coconut. Lychee, yeah. Yeah. Just get it. Good on it. Just get it. This is one of our favorite section. They have all the interesting Asian food, all sorts of herbs that I have never even tried. Octopus. I wonder if octopus go good with food. Mm, seafood. Seafood octopus. Uh, um, meatballs. Yeah, we need meatballs. Get. Yeah. These are the meatballs right here, guys. Okay. These are the Asian energy drink. If anyone don't know, the N150. Tastes pretty good. Kind of like Red Bull, but a little bit more on the chili, uh, chill side. Thank you. This is my favorite fish sauce right here. This is the three crab. It has three crabs on the, uh, on the sticker they got some more other stuff over here some fishes uh mung sausage 
the small sausage, other small fishes and stuff like that. And this is the condiments. This is all your chili. Oh, we need some beef paste. Do we have any more of this stuff here? So we can usually like to get the beef paste. This is the one we always go for. I don't know if there's another one that's better, but they have different kinds right here. Instant beef flavor. Oh, it's just, um, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Well, what other ingredients do we need? Chili sauce, all this stuff. Um, I think I... Tell me oh. I have two kinds right. uh -huh. I have the spicy one. Oh, see? Yeah. That oh, little boy right too. I love eating these mushrooms right here, guys. These mushrooms, you can add them to any kind of dishes. They, I love those. And I love the uh, I love the bamboo shoots down here. These bamboo shoots are really good. I love eating the sour bamboo. Um, you cook that with pork meat. Man, it just makes a really delicious meal. But we have some of that already at home, so we don't need any. Uh, mommy's coming. Mommy's coming. Yes, All the beef folk. Right All the beef beef folk packets. Um, I already got some. How I many? Think we still have some at home, but I, uh, I guess we These are cheap enough that it's just good to stock up on it, guys. Yeah. If you love eating pho, just stock up on it. Um, fish sauce. Get fish sauce. Good, the good one, and I usually like to buy like two. Just get two bottles of it. Good expensive one. That's the good one, guys. That's seven bucks compared yeah. to the four dollar one. But I mean, you know, this one's always it's fine. like a What's stronger that? taste, like a richer taste to it. You don't like this is more watered out. Okay, guys. <coughs> more ingredients here. <coughs> more ingredients. Oh, let's see. Oysters. Sriracha's. Get sriracha. Oh, soy sauce too, baby. Yeah, just stock up on it. I don't want to make red apple Stop runs too much sauce. now that we live you know 20 minutes away from here i don't want to keep running back and forth on the floor what's all stuff on the floor special mudfish sauce what is all this man there's so many type of ingredients out here that i've never tried yet like all this stuff up here saute shrimp paste like man like there's so many different dish out there that i have not tried yet if there's this much condiments, you guys, when you think about it, man, like imagine just cooking with all this stuff. Sriracha used to be down there, I think. Why are we running low on sriracha? I don't think they have any more. Right here, this was an empty slot. Sriracha sauce. Where's the Asian bread? Where's the Asian bread? Mm -hmm. We'll go find somewhere else. Uh, let's check out over here, guys. This is the oyster sauce. All the Korean barbecue. <coughs> this is what we like to use for the pork belly. That Korean barbecue original sauce. That's really good stuff. We love this stuff right here. This is the oyster. This is the... Everyone knows that. Dragonfly brand. Love stocking up on this stuff. Do we still have poison sauce at home? This is the hoisin yeah, sauce right here. They got the big one, the small one. Here, put this one. In there Why is that one? Why do you want this one? Um, sometimes they're good. They're good for stir fry. All right, guys. There's this one too. Honey teriyaki shaggies. This this looks like Alaska, so this must be Alaska made. Yep, made in Alaska. Interesting. So many different stuff to try, guys. Japanese clear broth, miso soup up there. Lots and lots. This stuff here is like nice. This bottle here, <coughs> this is like a perfect size for camping trip. Camping trip, or you want to throw that in your car without getting a big bottle. What is on the other side? Okay, go. Okay, we're gonna go on the other side, guys. It's pretty crowded right here. Lots of people are coming. We don't want to be hogging the high aisles. This is the kids section. Candy. Wow, but you actually got me too. You want this one? Do you want? These are to attract the kids. You want this one? Which one? You want? You want this one? This one? You want this one? Oh, this is the bunny. Open your mouth. And this is your bunny. So, so you like this one? Okay, put it right here. Okay, okay, put it right here. Okay, take the bunny home. Okay, you get new bunny at home. All right, so we don't need much over here. 
we got some uh, hoisin sauce or some soy sauce here and uh, some uh, fried onion. This is good for a lot of stuff too. Cooking, soup, and also... Yeah, mommy's over here. Oh, we cannot open yet, Ruby. We'll open it when we get in the car. We open it when we get to the car, okay? Nice thing about this is when you're done eating it, this becomes a uh, piggy bank. Put your money in there. The nice thing about this market is that it's such a local place that sometimes you see some friends and family here, so you end up talking to them for about five minutes. Hey, how you been? Et cetera, et cetera. So it's always nice to do that. Lincoln's a bit too excited, so I opened one up for him. Is it good? Jelly, jello. All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up our trip here to Red Apple. We're gonna go check out and we'll go to the next stop and show you guys our next stop. We still have a few other shopping trips or shopping stops to do. We're gonna go stop by Costco because Costco is right down the road. And then after that, we'll move on to our last stop. Mommy. We're here at our second destination, Costco. This is on the east side. They're busy as always. Ah, okay, crossing the road. Uh, I learned how I learned to park far away from the entrance. Whenever I go to these big box store guys, it's not worth trying to find a parking spot right next close. Just park far away. It's a nice walk anyways. So we're gonna grab a few things, show you guys a little bit of it. This isn't a big Costco haul or anything like that. You have a beautiful baby. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. So they're in the process of building a new Costco business center. <clears throat> and the business center is more of like big bulk item for running a business. And they're gonna build that at the Tecotton Center, the old Sam's Club. So I think they're gonna have that open either this year or next year maybe. But that would be pretty nice to go check out. And again, that's the business center, which is a bit more different. They don't sell like just individual things. It's like super bulk items. Once they open that, we'll go make a video for that. So this is Costco. You guys know how Costco is, nothing special. Typical stuff. This is $800, that's a good price. Damn, that's a really nice price. 800 bucks for this. Oh, this is- I think it was too hot. This is way better than mine. This one has way more drawers. I paid, well, mine was 500 at Home Depot. So this is 800 for a double stack. That's pretty sweet. They got some shop towel for $13. That's actually a good price. Yeah, that's a really good price. I'm trying to think if I have any, I swear I bought some already, but I think I might need some more. So I might grab myself one. Ah, oh, this always happens, see? You come into Costco for one thing and you end up getting other things. 10 rolls, yeah, this is a good price, so we'll go ahead and grab it. For the garage. They got some good prices on oil too. Car oil. And some good totes, 27 gallons for 13 bucks. Not bad at all compared to Lowe's and Home Depot. Both, right? They got all the outdoor stuff kayaking no price of dungeon crab 10 bucks a pound and this is all wild golden king crab it's 30 bucks a pound that's crazy man <coughs> alaska prices halibut is 12 13 bucks a pound pacific cod fillet flay is eight bucks a pound I just saw some people bought some uh, red sock alley salmon. Oh yeah, so shrimp here. Right here, this is the one we want right here. We'll get some shrimp for the foe. This is uh, $10 a pound, guys. Super expensive, but super worth it. Oh, my two boys. Yay. Eh? Buy this. They got some nice steak right here. The steak is 13 bucks a pound beef ribeye we're gonna get this stuff right here 12 bucks a pound <laughs> it's already thin sliced and we'll just use this for the folk so that's simple enough yeah because we know that's gonna be like lean and soft and then we'll get some chicken for the barbecue grill chicken yeah. wings 
grab like three packs or something for stock up anyways but the rest of the beef is right here here's the chicken thighs 16.75 dollar 50 per pound they don't really have the wings thighs 12 just do thighs in what thighs am i just cut thighs and it'd be fine what is that right there this. what is that it's just um, small ones it's just our uh, cut up uh, wings that takes too long to cut cook no it's, it's pretty too quick to well, it's too cook. tedious huh? okay get that then just get okay. those we're just gonna get the party wings guys they don't have the full size wings yeah it's okay there must be a shortage or something who knows yeah my okay. two boys I mean, I guess we'll you guys gonna be eat good tonight or this weekend well um, daddy's gonna eat good you guys watch daddy eat Oh, they got some more shrimp over here. Maybe I'll check out these over here. These are the same one, I believe. Let me verify. I think they're the same one. These are the white shrimp. $22. Oh, these are smaller, I believe. The one we got are the 13, 15. <coughs> 13, 15 are the one that we got. This one here is kind of thawed out already. Let me get the one that's more fresher. These are more frozen. Yeah, so this is what I get right here for the pho. And then they got some white, white calamara steak. I never heard of that before. What in the world is that? And they got some more beef on that side and then chicken on that side. More chicken hearts. All right, get some chicken hearts too. How many did you get? Huh? That's it, I think. We'll get one more just for just for house inventory. Oh, for house, oh, for yeah. house day, I'll buy some of that. Okay, hold on, kids. Very difficult to shop with two kids, guys. And film. These are air fried chicken thighs. Ah, oh, lots of people today, guys. Even on a Tuesday. You guys having a good time? To you, well, might as well get it while we're here. Yeah. All right, my wife got some of this stuff right here. This is the uh, boneless chicken thighs stir fry good stuff like that uh, six bucks a pound so for a pack of this is about 25 bucks 25 26 just depends on how it is so it's a pretty expensive day already guys we spent already our red apple trip is already 200 bucks so this is gonna be like another 200 bucks so this gives you guys an idea of what grocery shopping in Alaska is but again we're buying some pretty expensive you know, this is we're doing a dinner this weekend, so this is not your average shopping trip, you know. But this is what you should expect, guys. Oh um, man, yeah. did they take away their sink? No, they should have it over there, not over here. Okay, that's it. Go get the. We need to go grab a case of water, and probably grab a <coughs> grab a bag of rice while we're here. You know, Costco things. You might as well get it while you're here. It's one of those things. Might as well get it while you're here. Oh, that's a good deal. Might as, well, might as well get it. And then all of a sudden, you end up with a full cart. Oh, my two babies. I don't ever eat sample, guys. When I come to Costco, I don't ever eat sample. I know a lot of people come here and they love eating sample, but I just, I just don't do it. All right, guys, we've got all our shopping. Lines are super busy. Self check, guys. Uh, just scan it ready. 204. Please wait. Help us on. 